Hi guys and welcome to a different kind of video here on my channel. This video was created so spontaneously and so unplanned and if you watch the video you will agree with me so this is content you cannot plan beforehand. But maybe you don't agree, I don't know. I deliberately chosen to put the video online here on my channel even though the end is not the best, I have to spoiler here. But I deliberately chosen to put it online here on my channel so you have a takeaway, you can learn something and you don't do the same mistake as I do. So I think there's nothing more to say for the introduction, so have fun watching the video when 3D printing goes really bad. So 3D printing sometimes has its surprises here and in this case I went to the printer to take a look how far the printing has been taking place and this is the picture I am looking at. So we have a large pile of hard PLA below the printhead here. This is the insulation from the printhead here, from the nozzle, from the heating element. And the printer has stopped completely. And in the display we have the message, heater extruder is not heating at expected rate. Okay, I didn't expect this when I take a look at this here. So I'm a little bit worried about this. So this is completely hard here. I cannot simply remove it, even if I try to push here. And yeah, let's take a look if we can make the printer work again. All right, I took the printer out of its corner and placed it on the table. So this is the look from the back side. And I moved up the Z axis a little bit to see what's happened here. And this is what we can see here, a large pile of PLA. PLA plus at this point, but I think that doesn't matter what material it is. If it looks like this, it's always bad. So I think first thing I'm going to do is to remove the fan bridge here. Then I will remove the printhead and see how we can remove this pile here. Here's the printhead and yeah, here you can see the whole mess here, PLA everywhere. So I'm a little bit confused about those two black cables here. They are not isolated anymore. Maybe it should be like this. I don't know. I don't think the isolation is melted because it's a clear cut here. But please write me in the comments what do you think. Um, and I'm a little bit worried about the white cable here because it's deep inside this large pile of PLA. So I will take the heat gun and try to remove this large pile here. Let's see what happens. So I already burned the plastic cover of the printhead here, so my bad here. I uh, see one can remove it here, so I will remove it here. So let's see.
So I removed those two screws here. They both hold the heating element. But my problem is I cannot remove it simply because of this large pile and I cannot pull it down here. All right, here's the heating element and I figure out how to remove it. And yeah, this is how it looks like. Large pile of PLA. So let's see if we can remove it. So, all right, first success here. I freed the nozzle and the heating element. Here it is looks good so far and I managed it by applying heat with the heat gun, pull parts away with the, from the PLA, apply heat again, pull the next part away and so on. And if we take a look here, these pieces are all parts of PLA I pulled away, melted, pulled away and so on. Yeah, so it looks good so far, the heating element. I'm still worried about the cables here inside the PLA, but let's see, maybe I can free them. So all right, I managed to remove all the PLA and I'm nearly done until this happens. I broke the cable. It broke away here. It was placed here at this point here. And so the hot end is completely damaged. Damn. So I ordered a new one. Sadly, I couldn't check if this one works. I think it works, so you can remove all the PLA by applying some heat and remove parts, applying heat again and remove parts again. And I was nearly at the end and when removing the last parts of PLA here from the cables, I broke this cable away. So shit happens here. So to show you, this is all the PLA I removed. So all this was baked around here. So sadly I cannot check if this hot end works, but I want to show it to you. So please be patient when working on the hot end. So we see again when the new hot end is arrived and then we place the new hot end. So all right, back on the track, here it is, the new hot end for Neptune 4 Plus and Max. So delivery was very fast. And yeah, let's open the box and take a look inside. Big box, small content here. So here it is, the new hot end. Let's take it out. Here it is. Don't be confused. This is the insulation, the silicon insulation here. And let's compare it to the old one. Here the silicon insulation was removed by the PLA block. And yeah, I think this one would work if I hadn't broken the cable here. I just had to clean the nozzle here and I think it would work again, but I damaged the cable here. So here's the new one, it looks like this. And now we can answer an old question and I did, where I didn't know whether the insulation of the cable was melted or not. So the two black cables here and here's the new hot end. And here you can see the two, the two black cables. The insulation should be this way. So right, I will put the new hot end into the printing head and then we'll see if it works.
right, printer's fired up and let's go to the point where the printer doesn't work at all. So prepare, temperature, preheat PLA. <laughs> So, all right, this looks pretty good here. And well, I will do some leveling now because the leveling is completely out of everything here. And then I think we should print something, uh, something simple. I think we should try the Benji. Benji's printed and yeah this is how it looks like here if you take a closer look I think it looks pretty good here there are some spots which can be printed better of course but I only did a one time leveling after replacing the hot end here so I think I will repeat the process of leveling the print bed uh, one or two times again so heating up the print bed let it cool down it's always good and then repeat the leveling of course so what is the personal takeaway of this video here so I'm pretty happy about how it turned out at the end. So I only had to replace the hot end because I damaged it. I broke away the cable and so it was my fault here. So I'm happy that I don't have to replace the complete print head because this is how it looked like at the beginning with all the pile of PLA everywhere. So I'm happy that I only had to replace the hot end because I obviously damaged it here. So right, we are at the end of the video and I hope you have a personal takeaway, you learned something and you do not do the same mistake as I did in this video here. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel to support me here and feel free to write me your opinion and thoughts about this video down in the comments. So for today, I say thanks for watching, see you next time and happy printing. <laughs>